Hey everybody, John here from No Joke NHL. We're about three and a half hours away from puck drop, uh, the playoffs 2012, and I just wanted to uh, give a brief report as to what plays I'm making in the first round as well as what I'm doing tonight. Um, as far as first round plays, uh, I'm going to take the uh, Washington Capitals uh, to spring the upset against the Bruins. Um, I explain, explain that, uh, and of course, the Caps are talented. They've been underachievers now for a while, but I think this year they're coming in uh, basically as the underdog with no pressure on, you know, are, are they going to win the Cup? Nobody seems to think they're even going to get by this round, um, but they do, uh, they do hold a lot of value here because the Bruins definitely uh, limped into the playoffs uh, for the last half of the season after a scorching start. Uh, where they uh, won almost every game in November that they played. So I'm going to take the Capitals. Uh, I already bought them at 180. They're up to 195. So uh, if you're going to tail the Capitals play, uh, wait right up until game time because uh, it looks like Boston's taking most of the money here. So, uh, you know, like I said, I'll wait and you probably get uh, plus 200 or better. I'm going to stay with 180. If it goes much above 200, I'll probably buy, buy in at, you know, a higher price up there. But as of right now, I'm just going to stick with the 180. I still think I see value there. Uh, I'm also going to take a ticket on the Capitals to win the East at 12 to 1. Uh, I'm, I'm using the lines from uh, five dimes, uh, in case you're wondering if you're out, is a little different. But I'm going to take Caps to win the East at 12 to 1 uh, because I think that's a pretty good price. Uh, if they do get by Boston here, um, you know, at 2 to 1 in this first series, uh, I, I think a lot of people are going to take notice, and I think the price is going to come down on them, barring them playing a Penguins or a Rangers, which very well could occur. Um, you know, they may see themselves at two to one if they face uh, the Rangers, which I don't think they would in the, in the next round. Uh, I'm not sure if they they reseed, I believe, but um, I'm kind of think the Caps are going to uh, you know get some respect after this. You know, first round upset. So I'm going to hold this ticket, and hope hopefully uh, we come out of this holding a 12 to 1 ticket with a very live and talented team uh, for some hedging opportunities uh, further down the road. Um, in the Nashville Detroit series, uh, I'm I'm on the Predators here. Uh, I I, th I think they're going to dominate this series. Uh, that series is now pick on minus 110 both ways. So I, I I like I said in the earlier report, I believe the Red Wings are being bet on reputation alone. Um, they do have talent, uh, but I really see the Predators as the team of destiny here. Uh, like I said, the third time, I believe, is going to be the charm where they've uh, you know, grown up through each playoff, uh, playoff experience they've had. They won their first series, uh, playoff series ever last year, and I think they're ready to uh, make a statement here, especially with the home ice and Detroit's uh, record of 17-24 and 24 on the road this season. Uh, not something uh, to get excited about. So I'm going to take the Predators. Uh, at Predators, I bought them at minus 120. Uh, I'm not going to rebuy at minus 110. Um, the, I, I'm going to take the Predators in five games, however. Um, that prop, the exact uh, game prop, and I'm going to get plus 605 on that return. And I'm going to also buy a uh, Predators in six, which would have them wrapping it up in Joe Lewis Arena in Game Six at plus five fifty-five. So, uh, I'm, like I said, I'm looking for them to uh, take these first two at home, uh, possibly steal one in Detroit, um, and then and then uh, you know come back to Nashville up three-one and uh, finish it off in Game Five, and or come back to Detroit and finish it in Game Six if the Red Wings can pull uh, a Game Five off. Uh, down 3-1. Uh, of course, speculating there all the way through. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on the Pittsburgh Penguins in their series against the Flyers. Uh, however, I'm just basically playing a, uh, a, a single play on the Penguins. I'm going to take them to sweep the Flyers, which uh, nobody out there that, I, that I've seen is uh, willing to even predict. But looking at the numbers, uh, you know, r regular season set aside, this is the postseason. Looking at the numbers, I see Pittsburgh uh, just being the superior team here, I don't think Flyers intimidation is going to be able to work here, uh, work, work very well uh, as it does in the regular season. And if the Penguins can avoid the shenanigans, then I think they're going to be the ones that come out on top. Uh, as the Penguins, as Mark Fleury goes, Mark Andre Fleury, so goes the Penguins. So hopefully he's uh, 
he's up to task here. Brzgalov, I'm not sure which Brzgalov is going to show up if, uh, if, if the steady one uh, over the last uh, month and a half or so of the season shows up, then I'm kind of looking for more of a grinding series. Uh, these, the last couple matchups that they played against each other were totaled at six. We're not going to see that in the playoffs, of course, uh, unless you know, they light the, the scoreboard up tonight. Um, so, uh, so, so if, if, like I said, if Brzgalov shows up, I think it's going to be more of a grinding series, uh, you know, three to two games kind of, et cetera. So um, that, that's where it remains close. But like, like I said, I'm, I'm just hoping for some lucky puck bounces and get the sweep here with the Penguins. I'm also going to take the Blues over the Sharks. I think the Blues my easiest first-round winner uh, here, and I'm going to play them in five games at four to one, and I'm going to play them in six games uh, at plus 480. To, to, to wrap it up in San Jose. I don't really see them uh, sweeping here. I, I think the Sharks' playoff experience is going to get them at least one. I think Niemi is a good enough goalie to uh, keep, them, keep them tight in this series. Um, there's plenty of people predicting the upset here, and um, you know I, I can see some of the reasons why uh, they would do that. The Blues are a very low-scoring team. But at the end of the day, I really like Hitchcock here to have his team um, very well defensively prepared so I don't see the Sharks mounting much of a m much of a big offense against uh, Yaroslav Halak, who is getting the nod here in, uh, in in Game One, and very well could be for the series, as Brian Elliott has a uh, small injury, uh, and they're hoping that he will be available as backup, uh, but he's just not 100% to get the start, uh, especially now uh, at crunch time. So we're gonna go with Halak, which is no uh, which is no sad state of affairs. Uh, Halak. The only thing he did is, and is known for is taking the eighth seed Montreal Canadiens uh, through the number one seed Washington Capitals, then through the number two seed Pittsburgh Penguins, only to lose in the conference finals against the Flyers two years ago. So uh, you know what? This guy can play, and so can Brian Elliott. So I, I think that's going to be the main factor here. I just can't see the Sharks mounting enough of an attack. Um, and, and I think their stars would tend to be a little more frustrated uh, the Thorntons and, you know, I mean, very consistent players, but I think the grinding uh, in, in, in your face, especially in their own zone, uh, a, a attack of the Blues is going to be too much for them to handle. So uh, those are the plays I'm doing for tonight. I'm going to take the Predators to uh, get this party started right. Uh, that, that's, that's the one game I'm going to go with. I was thinking of doing a money line Parlay, Predators, uh, Pittsburgh, but I'm just going to sit back and just, uh, just watch the Penguins tonight. And uh, I, I'm, I am going to buy a ticket for uh, minus 125 here tonight for the uh, Predators, like I said, to get off to that uh, start that I'm looking for to have them finish this series off in five or six. So, like I said, uh, good luck with your plays tonight. Uh, feel free to hit me up on Twitter, uh, no joke NHL. Uh, go to viewfromvegas.com. I have uh, my plays posted there as well. And... Uh, like I said, let, let's make some money. We, we had a good regular season, and we're looking to keep it going in the playoffs. So um, let's go.